What's what's up, you guys? Welcome to Tiscarte. Tiger 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 Starke. Carte, I believe, is German for map. Is it? Yeah. So it's weird now. The um in the in the comment sections, you can't tell if people are being serious or if they're being trolling, like when they leave, you know, comments about maps. Um Yeah. Yep. Cause there was some some there was <laughs> things on here saying, Oh good, this is good for your first try. Um maybe maybe it goes maybe there's more like out there, but they they did talk about more obviously debris and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> We'll see how it is. Okay, so there is a power switch. The the uh, things are placed good. You know, sometimes they're floating and stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Critical yeah. on yeah. you, but so we'll see. You know, but here the one thing we did notice on some of the new map makers, and it, it's like the uh, the thing where you, you know, like when you play Call of Duty and you're like, you don't do so good, and you go, well, I wasn't trying. I was yeah, really yeah, yeah. trying. I, I was just kidding around. Oh, oh now you want me to try? You want yeah. me to try? I'm so like, uh, I see a lot of people going, hey, this is my first map, and that's cool. Great. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Welcome to the map making community. But they'll say, this is my first map. It only took me four hours. Or yeah. this is my first map I did in one day. It, it's like it's like a cop out. You're like, well, is if that you the try cop out? Slam like it to... for anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you try and slam it for anything. So if anything is your first, let's go. Let's go yeah. out on the limb here and say, uh, this is my first time programming uh, or building a computer. Uh, it only took me two hours. Like, dude, your first time doing anything should take you a long time. Yeah, it really yeah, should. Yeah. Like to do it right or have have some, uh, you know. Pride well, in, and, in and not ship. not just that though. If you're if you're on the community or in the community and you're joining it, yeah. do you really want your oh, first map, your dude. first first introduction? And in, oh, I went right here and it opened the door. <laughs> nice trigger. Get the, uh, do you want your first impression up as a map maker to be some one window? Well, the you one know. good thing is it's not a one window, but I, no, no, I, know, I know exactly what you're saying. So, you know, we like to just, I don't know, we're hoping these are helpful comments to people, right? We're not Yeah, we're, we're, not, not, we're not trying to harp. We're just like, listen, you know, you, you, people, and they, they say, oh, it only did this because they don't want negative feedback. Well, if you don't want negative feedback, again, make your first effort the best effort you can possibly do, not just... I was experimenting. Um, this is I think what happened. That, I thought I posted anyway. I think that in in society today is it's that thing, right? It's that thing where you feel like you have to do or say certain things uh, to not have critical feedback on you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah wanna, I know it can be toxic. It can be. I want to. I, I want to help people out to say. You know that you know how there's like bullying in school. There's definitely yeah, yeah. bullying online. There's bullying in oh, forums yeah, for and all sure. that stuff. For I want to sure. say that listen, that stuff it exists in life. And if you yeah. if you bow to that, meaning if you change who you are or how you do things, it still affects you. So my point is, be you. Try and be a strong, independent person. Try and if you want to make let's like what we're talking about now. You want to make a Call of Duty map. And you're concerned about what people might say, you got to push through it. You got to just do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Have that, try and find some strength to just enjoy it. And yeah, yeah. if it's good, great. If it's bad, then get better the next time. Because get back I, I, up. Take the lashing online. Yeah, take, take, your, take your beating and, and move on to the next <laughs> thing. And believe me, it's going to help you so much grow in life by being able to do this kind of stuff. It it seems weird, like, that we're attaching life in this big, deep yeah. thing to this. But it's true. Every Everything little thing you do, yeah. is it, it affects it. Everything you allow other people to change you, how you feel, if they put you in a bad mood or they make you feel bad because they said something... Yeah. That's it's a fact of life. It happens to yeah. everybody, you guys. You you really do. You need to grow a thick skin because life is gonna have so many challenges and way worse things than someone not liking your first zombie map. Yeah, heck yeah. It's heck gonna yeah. it's gonna get a heck. Of, you're gonna face adversity for sure. Yeah. Oh show. 
So, unfortunately. It's yeah, fun, unfortunately. It's, it's, it's not just, a, it's not just a, the internet because it existed before the internet. What it is, it's human nature, you guys. Yeah, and most yeah. people that bully that aren't like, um, what do they call that? Um, ooh, ran out of ammo. Um, you know, people that aren't like uh, constructive criticism, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. that give you constructive criticism could be other map makers, right? Or people like yeah, us yeah. who love to play zombie maps and yeah. have a feeling for what makes, a, you know, a good An enjoyable map. experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to encourage you, not yes, discourage you. Yes, for sure. We're just but, but you, got, you guys got to remember, there. you got to remember that without like new map makers and without people who make maps that don't take forever to make, we won't, we'll be like months between maps. Oh yeah. It, yeah. You know, people like Madgaz who make incredible maps, it takes them a long, long, long oh, yeah. time to make those epic maps that are like, you know, worthy of of Treyarch, you know, like his yeah, last exactly. map, a lot of, you know, Killjoy, all these map makers that you guys know their names, you know? Yeah. The, Ice the Grenade A-list. has found a nice balance of making some really fun, fun, cool looking, crazy maps, but yeah. he's able to put them out at a frequency that is incredible if you're a zombie player, right? Yeah, and some of them are, are if you look at them, they're very simple in concept, like a tower or something like that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Really nicely decorated. It's colorful. Fun, it's challenging. Yeah, colorful. You don't so, always have to have the biggest map ever, just creative, something yeah. different, something new. Yeah, so I just it's another it's another public service announcement to any <laughs> any any soon to be map makers. Don't worry about what other people are saying. Take good advice. Put in a little bit of time. Like don't say, I don't want to see people say, I'd love to see this is my first map. Great. Don't say it only took me four hours. Well you're A, you're not impressing anybody by no, saying that. No. If that's your goal. If you're trying to say, look what I did in such a short amount, who cares, dude? That's yeah. that's that's stupid. That's actually dumb to to try and impress people by saying that. But yeah. on the other Ooh, hand, nice. if you say it's my first map, people might say, "Wow, dude, you really need to work." You're like, "Yeah, I know. It's my first map, so my yeah, second yeah. map will be a little better and a little better and a little better." Yeah. Dro- drop the it took me this long because if everybody yeah. did that in life like, "Oh, it take, takes me this long to go to the bathroom." You know, it's like, <laughs> "And <laughs> nobody took, cares how took long me it five takes." 5 minutes to get that burrito out. Like we I'll tell you something. It take it took us 2 hours to play, edit, render and do a certain map and it gets crap views where someone else might play yeah. for 3 minutes with clickbait yeah. and get billions of views. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. think they care how long it took us like we deserve something more because it <laughs> yeah. took us longer? No. I'm like no, it doesn't. Wow, dude, we're like all preachy today. Preachy. We Preach, we have brother. interesting conversations though on maps that that, you know, really don't speak to you that much. Or a little you know? more simplistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The my I'm first gonna hit map the box. Usually. I'm gonna hit the box. Dude, I've already hit it. I've hit it. Did you? Oh, you know what I need to do? What? I need to change my controls because it's Because you're playing the beta? No, it's Ah shoot. Attack ADS. I can say that it's very clean. Look, you look at the yeah. corners like no gaps. There the we machines go. are placed nice against the walls and the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's clean. You look. You got. You got the stuff down. You spend just a touch more time. Again, you know, it only took me one day. I get that, but no one really cares about that. They yeah. just care about your end spend result. Spend another right? day. Meaning, I would. I. You know, if it was, if I was a guessing person, someone that said it only took me a couple hours, and looking at something, you're like, no, it took you longer than that. It definitely yeah, took yeah. you longer than yeah. that. Yeah. If. Maybe if it was your tenth map, <laughs> yeah, but you yeah, have to yeah. literally learn how to do how to put this stuff together, yeah, yeah. and that that just physically takes time. So Let's anyway, what do you guys physical. who you guys any you guys play the beta? This last beta that they did was uh, what was this last one? It brought in PC. It was everything. Right? It was crossplay. It was so crossplay Xbox. beta. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm you know I'm what? interested because Guns has some something very interesting to say about it. <laughs> No, about how you know you've always you you're good at you're good at Call of Duty, and you've always been good at Call of Duty on PlayStation. Okay, yeah. 
And yeah. even though we play this on PC, yeah. you know, my, in my opinion, I'm like, dude, look at him. He's t running around, shooting, reloading, sliding, yeah. doing all this stuff. So I'm like, dude, you would be just as good on, on PC. And you're like, no, I feel better with the controller. Well, yeah, always have. So now, yeah. now I just set it up for you. Now you well, the thing is, it's so different with the new engine, the way it's set up, the, the, the movement, that kind of hybrid, not as extreme as, say, Battlefield or something like that, but definitely a new feel to the game and how it moves, how your character moves, the bobbing, the swaying and everything. It's... It's more realistic, like Battlefield, and less like COD, and Le less snappy, more more sloppy. Yeah, yeah. Like I've always felt comfortable with a controller on Call of Duty. Always, I feel just like more capable. I can snap on the things easier. Right. And because I, that's how I started YouTube was playing it on the PS3. Right. Yeah, yeah. Call of Duty. Yeah. Never played. Only started doing this for this, but. I feel more comfortable. And it's not necessarily that I do that much better, but I, for whatever reason, I feel more comfortable on the PC in this version when the second weekend came out. Right. And I never feel more comfortable on the PC. That's like, interesting. So I, I just find it's kind of like Rainbow Six Siege. Now, if you've only ever played it on console, you, you may don't not know, the know difference. You, yeah. you don't know the difference. But I'm telling you right now that Rainbow Six on console is complete hot garbage. Right. It's Com in comparison, right? Oh, dude, there's no comparison. That's the whole thing. It's so sloppy, so sloppy on consoles that when if you're a kind of a dual player PC, like dual platform, like like myself and then like you yourself. know you know the differences, right? You yeah, you go on a PC. There's way more control. It is light years beyond console version but i'd never felt that way about con and then all of a sudden this game comes out and i'm like oh shoot i might have to try this on pc and lo and behold i'm more comfortable on it i find i have more more act like i'm more accurate i feel i feel like i'm doing more control yeah like I'm because with... you slow down it's slower dude it is i played battlefield slower. on both right so i yeah, played yeah. battlefield three and four on on um, PC, I played Battlefield Five on both. You know, yeah. first I did yeah. PC, then I did PlayStation. Now, and it was fine when I was playing on PC. I mean, on console, it's fine. What we're getting yeah. at is, look, there's there's just a difference between a mouse where you can run really high sensitivity and use the larger muscles in your hand and arm to move it, versus having to use your thumbs on an analog stick. Yeah, and. When we say sloppy, it here's a better description, I think. It's like your player feels heavy. You don't feel like you can sprint as fast. You yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. your aim is kind of like, uh, uh. That's the difference between Battlefield and Call of Duty. And, and you can't, you, the FOV. The FOV and the is locked FOV on is console. a huge thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel like, we, we even talked about it in here. Some guys will make a map with a, an FO, a greater FOV locked into the game. Yeah. And the, the thing is, you feel like you're running faster because you have the wider field of view. You're not yeah, actually yeah. moving any faster. No. But on but your it feels screen, that way. on your screen, yeah, it totally feels that way. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I don't know, man. I'm going to obviously I'm going to be playing both a lot, you know? I'm going right. to be I'm not I'm not walking away from the console version, the PS4, no. because also they get the content early, right? So mm. But I got okay. I got bought the full game on both i didn't just play play the beta i got it on both because i figure you know i'm hoping spec ops is going to be really fun yeah and i'm hoping you know you and i can and can play that on here like i'm really looking forward to that almost more than than the multiplayer and, yeah and about the same as um the campaign yeah 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 you know? oh yeah so anyway i i think You'll be pleasantly surprised by the multiplayer on Modern Warfare, Midi. I mean, I we, always, we may I be able to have some liked, good search I, games together. I liked uh, Modern, I like Call of Duty on PC. The biggest problem for me was it died off fast. Like Battlefield yeah, yeah. could always hold a, a player base for a lot longer on PC than Call than Call of Duty could. Yeah. Well, the difference here is going to be the crossplay. So, so let's yeah, say yeah. there's nobody playing on PC. Well. You can get in and still play, 
with the console players you know yeah for sure and that's yeah, the, exactly. that's the exciting thing is now is they the they can players. opt out but there's also console players that use keyboard and mouse oh, okay so they they can do a lot i've seen a lot of people testing it i've seen it like they show you the symbol in the lobby they show you what network you're on like what platform and uh -huh. what you're using so it could be a pc symbol but right. you're using a controller on it. I've seen that. I've seen the keyboard on PlayStation. I never saw any on the Xbox, but that's not to say they weren't there. Because it's it's integrated into the PlayStation. We we play on PlayStation. We don't know the ins and outs. If you guys know about Xbox, let us know down in the comments. But it's integrated in. Uh, and then what what has to happen is the game itself has to allow it as well. So just because it's integrated into the system that you can plug and play, it doesn't mean that it's going to work at all or well yeah, um, yeah. on any particular game. The game has to allow it. And obviously, if there's cross-play built in to this game, it's going to allow for the mouse and keyboard on a console. For me, because I have a hand injury, is yeah, yeah. first and foremost. Number two, for Guns and I, it's a lot easier for us to record our yeah. voices together because I'm in the western part of the United States. He's in the eastern part of Canada. You yeah. know, we're pretty far away. So we get on Discord, right? And we talk to each other. Uh, my software is able to record his voice, my voice, and the game yeah. sound. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot easier it's uh, a pain logistically. In the butt. It's a pain in the butt to do this uh with if we're on console it just is it just it's yeah, much easier to record on pc so i remember back in the day what was that thing? the hop hog you remember that oh yeah yeah the hop hosh so over the years console recording and el gato has done a a phenomenal job oh, yeah, with making yeah, yeah. stuff for for consoles they really have and and in pc i actually use internal el gato cards for um when i was doing two pc streaming I would use that card and it's they just really incredible stuff. They made it a lot easier, but for what we do, we can jump on, be in and start playing instantly with with no issues, you know, and and that's we just found that it's easier for us to record on PC plus we for can sure. bring you better resolution gameplay, you know. We it can look it can look better cuz when we put it onto YouTube, oh, they, yeah, yeah. they dumb it down a lot. So, we want it to look good for you guys and all that stuff. So, that's one of the, the two main reasons for me. Not that, I mean, I I started gaming on a PlayStation, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have mine sitting way right here. The, I, I, I do love console. I do love Oof. the fact that you can sit back, but because of my hand injury and, and the recording aspects of it, yeah, PC yeah. is just a, a better option for me. A yeah, unless they bring great. in the Epic Game Store, and that, then that pisses me off. Because <laughs> I like Steam. I yeah. like having all my stuff in a library. Pro Steam. Yeah, it's like your your Xbox or PlayStation library. All your games are right there. Well, imagine if you had to go somewhere else to find your damn games. It's like, what? Yeah. Dang it. They're good. You can handle these guys. All right. Free packing oh, every day. Wee. Oh, I almost lost her. Give her sliver. Get out of here. Yeah, it'll be nice because I won't feel I'm going to rank my character up on PC the same way I would do console, which is up to first prestige. I never, I never go past it. Yeah. Once I, I have everything unlocked, I just don't. As a YouTuber, I specifically don't do that. Right, because you want to be able to use the guns, the attachments. I want all, all stuff, the attachments, right? everything unlocked. It just makes it easier. I always found there there was a few games, like I said, Battlefield and a couple other games that I would buy it on both systems. Yeah, and yeah. And the problem with that is, you know, I would always, I didn't play as much as you, so I wouldn't have either system ranked up. So anytime I tried to jump on, I'd be like, oh, what do I do? You know, I don't, yeah, what do I got? I don't have that. Well, I'm going to try and change that this year because I, I'm, I have no problem based on the beta playing on PC, so... We should be able to have some good games and yeah. That's oh, oh. cool, man. That's and cool. I'm I'm telling you right now, it's it's slower. It's not the frantic jumping and running all over the place and slides all over the walls and everything like. There are those that are doing that, but for the most part, what I experienced was much slower gameplay. So let me ask you a question. If you know the whole nostalgia thing, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Of of thinking back to your quote favorite game. 
Yeah. If you if we jumped back on like well, when we jump on World at War. Yeah. Remember how slow it feels compared to oh, this? Oh yeah. So it's possible that you know they were trying to get back to a feeling of of the original Call of Duty. Yeah. I I thought the exact same thing, dude. Maybe I the exact maybe same Call thing, of Duty I'm like they slowed it down. Maybe Call of Duty 4 was slow, like in comparison oh, it is, to dude. today's if you play games. The, if you play the original, like I was able to play it not in the last year or two, but years after. And when I went back on it, even after the number of updates, both like Treyarch, Infinity, and Sledgehammer, all them, what they're doing, yeah. I'm telling you right now, dude, COD Force felt like a mule in molasses. Really? Was, I was just like, holy mackerel, it's way slower. It just, it just was, it is. And I think they've kind of slowed it down, which some people are really pissed about. Like, they genuinely do not, oh, it's game sucks and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, but I, I think they slowed it down. For me, all that means, I'm like, uh, it could be more tactical now. It could be slow down and people are, are really concentrating on moving around the map properly. And right. It's what the current generation are not used to, so I think they're having a real hard time wrapping their heads around it because they want to run around like they've been doing over the last, you know, four plus CODs. Right, right. Yes. And and it's simply, I don't think Infinity War designed it that way. It's interesting because that's some stuff. If you're not a game developer, you might mm. on on the on the surface say, "Oh man, I feel like my character weighs three hundred pounds. I can't." Yeah, yeah. But, but there might that might bring something else fun to the game, a different aspect, a different play style that that everyone as a whole plays differently, you know. And then oh, it, it's it just makes it more, more interesting. Dude. Yeah. Well, like Mitch, I told you before, Mitch, yeah, one of yeah. our followers, longtime follower. Hey, Mitch. Um, he was he was saying, and he DM'd me on Twitter and saying, I don't know what's going on, but I've always sucked hard on CODs, like absolutely getting annihilated. And he was, he said, I'm getting like chopper gunners. I'm doing extremely well. And While I he's never playing knew... on PC though, right? Yeah. And this is, you know, as you get older, you don't usually get faster or better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, maybe it was PC. I thought it was uh, PlayStation though. Oh, I thought maybe I you said he was playing on PC and he was doing I don't... way better. No, I don't remember. All I know is that he said in the he past, said in general, he sucked. Yeah. yeah. Always sucked, but it was all just of a sudden a, now he's a destroyed. hobbyist Call of Duty player, but now he's own in face. Yeah. But so yeah, it's so maybe the, the, the speed of the game fits more into his play style. Yeah. That is cool. See, I think yeah, that that's slowed down, dude. You know, it's, it's slowed down. Perfect you, for us old OGs. Well, you guys who are like used to playing Call of Duty now. You now know what we felt like when we we came from the old type and started playing the stuff that you guys like with the yeah. sliding and all that crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the the wall running and the flying through the air stuff. It's like, yeah. imagine how we felt about that is how you're feeling about this. Yeah. It's Back like in the day, though, Call of Duty wasn't judged so heavily. It was like, oh, my God, we got a new Call of Duty game. Awesome. It yeah. wasn't like, oh, I'm going back to the old one until no, you got past, like, Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 yeah. and all that stuff. You know, it's that's when it started judging it. <laughs> hey! What happened? What oh, happened? shoot. I was hit. Wrong button. Wrong oh, button. Uh uh, 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 oh, you did, <laughs> you nice. did it. Thanks for watching, you guys.